Point being, I, I guess it's just up to whoever's listening. I mean, at the end of the day, the, the question is, because Megan thinks of LPs as being like an hour long per episode, but one episode a month, more or less. Mm -hmm. And I think of, of LPs as being, let's do a daily thing and let's make sure it's around 10 minutes, if not significantly more. Like, I would be fine with putting out half hour episodes, but I feel like that would be too taxing on you. Well, we don't have and to pick one because we can do more than one game at once. So, for example, like, a game that has really quick levels or really quick just segments that you can cut up easy, sure, maybe 10-minute ones and they could be daily. And then ones where it's, like, kind of longer like this, this is honestly something where it, it, it's... Since it's, like, turn-based random battles, there's a lot going on that takes a while. Something like this, RPGs could be longer episodes. But we could have a long series and a short series running at the same time nothing wrong with that you've got like uh, no help oof <laughs> yeah okay we're talking a lot about things that aren't the game <laughs> we're, we're talking a lot about things that aren't the fact that we're fighting a boss right now yeah. who's an optional boss who's supposed to be very strong did we even see what his design was um he's a weird dragon I think his name is Dark Dramon. I, I didn't even, like, catch the name on the, the bottom thing. I'm just going off of what I vaguely know about Diggles. I'm pretty sure that's Dark Dramon. What do you... What? What happened? I don't know. What did you try to do? It just took a while to load. I, I was oh. going to do a thing and then change my mind about what to use it with, and then was like, okay. Are you using two items at once? No. It's, it's oh, something that okay. just gets everyone. All right, that makes sense then. So <laughs> when you choose an attack, let's actually look at his name before yeah. you do it. Yeah, that's Dark Dramon. And uh, he's kind of ugly. He's like a... I think he's like a weird robot dinosaur again which is again. basically just what digimon are so yeah <laughs> it did uh, not always diggle. but it, it kind of has changed into that over the the generations no, of diggles no come out. there were a lot of robot dinosaurs in early How? diggles um in okay in the series yes but when you look at them as a whole and you look at like the original release for the v-pets mm -hmm. there were no robot dinosaurs not that i can think what of about off the top fat of my head. baby fat baby's in it but i don't think he actually has his his canon final okay then i don't know <laughs> i like i i could be wrong i could be significantly wrong but i'm almost positive that in the the original like v-pet keychains and everything mm -hmm. um i think a, the highest they went was ultimate because they, they didn't think that they needed a stage above that. Uh, so, uh, like, if you look at the, the stuff from that time period, the ultimates are nothing but ultimates and things that would later become megas, and they were all just shuffled into one stage. Hmm. And it was, like, really, really awkward, and eventually they split them apart. Is that why like, Digimon one World one. 1 has, like, yes. two megas? Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> That's exactly why it's like that. It's because it goes from, the, the uh, system used to be that it would go from like baby to child to adult and then to uh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> I think those actually are the names for the Japanese ones too. All right. I and then after that. Those make a um, lot more sense, by the way. Yeah. In, in uh, the Japanese version, I'm almost positive that Megas are also called Ultimates, which gets hmm. really confusing when you, you realize that yeah. in the US they call ultimates ultimates and then we call their version yeah. of the ultimate omega and it's like oh god yeah they also weird. expanded backwards at some point so you have the fresh in training and then into rookie and like they added one on the back and one were on the those? front because i mean they were like tamagotchis right tamagotchi started as blobs into bigger blobs into things they still start as blobs and move their way up like that I, i'm pretty you know what maybe i'm wrong though Maybe, maybe I am wrong about that now that I think about it. Because it, it, you got to think about the game. Like, mm -hmm. the first Digimon World, that one's a really good example of what the V-Pet, like, evolutionary stuff was. Yeah, there were two forms of Blob, weren't yeah. there? Yeah, you know what? You might be right. I, I think you so. You might be right, actually. I'm not 100% sure now that I think about it. Uh, I know that the keychain that you got, by the way, would determine what your first Blob was. Yeah, Which is sense. an interesting way to do that, I think. <clears throat> I have to take a drink of water. <laughs> and I can still talk while he's doing it. 
He's the best tranquil. Like the best puppet. Tranquiloquist. <laughs> tranquiloquist. <laughs> He's the best ventriloquist you'll ever meet. I'm the best tranquil ventriloquist you'll ever know. No, no, it's someone who's who's like someone who's able to put elephants to sleep while projecting their voice. This guy is actually really strong. Yeah, this guy was clearly someone we didn't want to encounter right after clearing this area. You know what's really scary is that you can encounter this guy immediately after ending this area. Well, I got a 9999 on him. I think if you go back and talk to Grandpa at any time, he'd have probably told you that key, but from from what I vaguely understand, just skimming through stuff about the bonus bosses, like I, I said, I try mm -hmm. to skim and I try to ignore the names and yeah, ignore information. Yeah, you're looking to avoid spoilers. Yeah, but which from, is hard on like game FAQs. <laughs> yeah, it is. But from what I did actually see on game FAQs, this particular guy is available immediately after hmm. you beat this area. And there were people, this was the one that, that people were talking about, they went in at level 20, and he was way too tough for them to beat. And it's like, we're, I'm looking at this now, and we're like level 60, and he's still No, we're not. Kind of we're rough. like level 45. Are we? I thought we were yeah, higher no, than that. Yeah, no, we're not. Oh. oh, well, then I'm just bored now. We're not even worth it, man. <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> I don't even know how far this game's really going to need us to level. Like, how strong is the final boss going to even be? Uh, we've already fought one phase of him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's going to get stronger after that. Though. Hopefully, yeah. I'm wondering if we get in there and he's going to have another two phases, or if we're going to get in there and he's going to be in the final phase. Um, I don't know. I think I'd enjoy a bunch of phases. Uh, I would enjoy it too, but I think if... Not that we don't uh, already know what they'll look yeah, like. Yeah, I was going to say, like, we know what these phases are, though, yeah. so that kind of makes it a little boring, and they're not... Well, it's maybe not they'll surprise interesting us. Interesting phases. It's not like, oh my god, like he goes from being this to being something completely different. He doesn't turn different. into an organic uh, airship with his regular body jutting off of the top or anything. Uh, he doesn't go from like dark Charles Barkley to Charles Barkley's <laughs> head on a Tyrannosaurus's body to uh what, what was the final boss was it, it just a big picture of charles barkley with like Sephiroth's i don't even wing? remember like, that, i i love that game so much i don't remember what happened we're, we're talking there. about barkley's shut up and jam gaiden by the way like Great play game. the game play the game if you get it's free it's, free. it's an rpg Super free. well it's a game maker game yeah it's it looks... game maker but it's designed to look like yeah. rpg maker i i it's been a while since i've played it so i've forgotten a bunch of the end uh, all I know about, like, all that I can remember about the end is that I remember my final boss fight in, in my first run of the game was really underwhelming. Because <laughs> I did the optional boss part of the way through the Which game. Which I didn't even realize was there when I yeah, they, it. I, I did an optional boss who dropped an item called, like, the golden potato. <laughs> and you can use it and it calls in, like, Buds, the soldier, and he drops in on a helicopter and pulls out a gun and just shoots the whoever you drop him in front of, and it's an auto death. <laughs> like it kills anything, so you could just you get it right before the final boss, and it's like, what do you expect to do? I here? love the, my favorite part of that game is the save function. Because in order to save, you have to go up to a character who looks like the nozzle of a gas station terminal and it's called truck pump and it's just it just is a floating gas nozzle that just sits there and when you go up to it it gives you a rant about anime and rpgs and you have to like listen to that before it lets you save and i love it <laughs> sometimes so it'll be paragraphs worth yeah of about how technically you could count madden as a role-playing game because you play the role <laughs> of a football player i love that argument especially is just amazing <laughs> like the concept of if you're playing nfl madden you're playing an RPG, and it's like, no, you're not. But also, it name drops a lot of actual JRPGs about which ones are its best. Basically, it just tells you all its video game waifus. Didn't that turn out to be a real person on, like, the forums um, that the original creators met on so. or something? Something like that, but it's my favorite. I'm going to save.